Hey, welcome back to Alton, and uh, we are on the road with Great Day St. Louis live in Alton. Beautiful Alton, one of my favorite. Listen, they're applauding over oh, there. We're God. not even near them. They love their town, don't they? They love their town. From the Civil War to Giants, you've heard about those. Record flooding, you know about those, unfortunately. Hauntings, Alton is known for its rich history, but this city is just as about, and should be, just as excited about what lies ahead, in large part to this man right here. Joining us live this morning to talk about the past, the present, and the future of Alton is the mayor himself, Mayor Brown. Grant Walker, stand and salute you people over there. <laughs> All right, I want Thank to talk you, to you, Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. about these accusations from these 18 women. Oh, wait a minute, that's a script for the five o'clock show. That's a different, 18 ma women. That's okay, a different that's mayor. That's a different mayor. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we might have been in San Diego. This is Alton. It feels like San Diego, though. It's, oh, could you imagine? What a perfect day. Oh, it is. It's absolutely just fantastic out here. But so much history yes. in Alton. Oh, absolutely. And it goes at, it even predates even the Civil War, which we're most known for. But uh, it, it, this, this town is steeped in history, uh, going back to the Civil War with Eliza P. Lovejoy. Uh, our cemeteries here, the Civil War prison we had here, it just goes on and on and on. Talk about the Alton Giant. I, I, this is a legend I think most people are familiar with. Yeah, he was born and, and raised here in Alton, and I believe he reached a height of 8 foot 11 inches, and he is still in the World Book of Guinnesses as the tallest man ever lived. 8 foot 11. Yes, eight and there's foot a, 11. isn't there a thing of a shoe or something in one of the museums here? And there's all kinds of stuff, I mean, that you can you can read about. Yeah, near our dental school uh, in the upper Alton area, they actually have a statue which is life-size of uh, Robert Wadlow, which is absolutely fantastic. All right. And also the flooding. Unfortunately, you have to talk about that. You're a river town. These people seem to bounce back every time i don't think we we saw it coming as much this year but it uh, it's another year yeah, of flooding we had two floods this year actually within a three-week period but you're right we're a river city we're resilient the river comes up and it goes down but the second flood we had was the fifth largest flood in alton's history and i believe they said it was the quickest the river came up it came up at a very high crest but it came up so quickly it almost acted much more like a flash flood well it's good to be to, to talk about the past but let's talk about the future and some of the things okay. that, that we have to look forward to in alton yes uh, we actually executed a tiger grant uh, for the development of multimodal uh, transportation, which is high-speed rail, which is not only good for Alton, it's going to be great for our region yeah. because high-speed rail now will run from Alton to Chicago. So Alton is the stopping and starting destination point for high-speed rail to connect us throughout the Midwest. And we heard about you raising money. We did a story on the news about you raising money for the new canine unit. Yeah, that, you know what, that is actually a uh, bad thing that turned out wonderfully. We had an unexpected incident where one of our canine uh, dogs uh, unfortunately passed away. Uh, it wasn't in the most governments now have tight budgets, but the community has absolutely rallied around our police department uh, to help raise funds for that. Um, we need approximately $15,000 per dog to get it trained mm -hmm. and up to speed. I believe right now we are at $10,000 and we have a golf tournament which will be held on October 12th okay. to help raise funds for that dog. Good. The last time that you and I talked, we were standing right over here for a bicycle event and Tour de, Cure. Tour de Cure, and you were telling me there's been an event here at the amphitheater and in the riverfront every weekend this summer. Oh, every weekend this summer, and tonight is, is another example. Sure. We have a change in latitudes, and then even tomorrow night, our marina, which is the finest marina on the Mississippi, is celebrating its anniversary, and the Smash Band will headline that uh, celebration. Beautiful marina, night. and a perfect oh, setting for a, for a, a Jimmy Buffett uh, oh, <laughs> tribute, isn't no it, right here on the waterfront? Absolutely. But I, I thought I knew Alton. He gave me a fact before the show yeah. that I, just blew me away. Listen to this. <laughs> Ken was asking me about some history that you might not normally hear about, because we hear about the Lincoln-Douglas debate, which is his seventh and final debate during right. his, his Senate run. Right. Uh, but also in 1937, uh, there was the largest, or not the largest, but the shark caught in fresh water was a five-foot bull shark right here in Alton. Farthest north up the Mississippi they've ever come up with a shark a made shark. it all the way up to Alton. A bull shark. So it can happen. <laughs> Yeah, swimmers, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swim in the Mississippi off Alton, because it could happen, right? Yes. Mr. Mayor, so good to see you again. Okay. Thanks for Thank coming out. Thank you so much. Appreciate we appreciate it. you guys coming. Hey. We welcome you here. Alton is open. Come on out, enjoy the concert, enjoy our beautiful riverfront, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Great crew. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. How about that, huh? How about the mayor just stopping by to say hi? And his friends posse. in high places. He brought his posse too. We, Surrounded really? by security, I can't make a move. <laughs>